Last year, the government removed hospital accommodation funding for junior doctors in their first year after graduation, leaving most junior doctors £4,800 worse off. In this short film, Dr Ram Morthy, chairman of the BMA's Junior Doctor Committee, and Ian Noble, chairman of the BMA's Medical Student Committee, discuss the BMA's response to this funding cut. Why is this an important issue? The loss of free accommodation for the Foundation Year One doctors is a highly important issue both to junior doctors and to medical students. The Foundation Year One doctors had a statutory requirement to be provided residence as part of the Medical Act, which was removed last year with inadequate consultation with both the BMA and especially with the Junior Doctors Committee. In this time of rising student debt, which is now nearing £25,000 on average, as well as a downward trend in salary, the, f the loss of accommodation does equate to approximately a 20% pay cut, as mo the average uh, cost is about £4,800 £4, for the year. And this has angered both medical students and junior doctors, as we have seen at two recent conferences with um, highly emotive debates going on and a request for us to do all we can to ensure that this issue and problem is rectified. What is the BMA doing about this issue? Well, both the Medical Students Conference and the Junior Doctors Conference called on uh, the BMA to protest, publicise and try and resolve this situation. Um, and so the first thing we've done is write to the employers to seek negotiation to try and sort this out. We're encouraging all of, us, uh, all of our um, colleagues, students and, and doctors alike, to write to their local MP to encourage their MP to lobby the Department of Health on their behalf to resolve this situation. After that, from the 19th of May, we're organising a series of local protests. There'll be peaceful protests outside uh, university hospitals in medical school cities uh, where there's a feeling that, that a protest should occur. Um, and, and this will happen in two weeks um, after the starting from the 19th of May. Into July, on the 18th of July, we're organising a one-night sleep-in tent protest and would encourage any students or doctors who would be interested in protesting to resolve this situation to put that date, the 18th of July, in their diary and come along and you'll hear, hear more about it closer to the time. What are you hoping to achieve from these protests? The process of the protest and the campaign and further work will be one is to highlight the anger and disillusionment amongst the junior doctors and medical students over the loss of accommodation to the public and more importantly to government and to NHS employers who we have requested enter into negotiation with us to either return the free accommodation or to uh, enable a financial package to be put together to compensate the junior doctors for what is in effect a 20% pay cut and we would like to do this as quickly as possible to enable those doctors starting in August 2008 to not be out of pocket and to not demoralise a group of professionals that have already been demoralised by the problems we saw last year. How can medical students and junior doctors get involved in this campaign? Well, the first thing would be to put the date the 18th of July in their diaries and come along to our sleeping tent protest. Um, but all the information will be disseminated through the BMA website and for medical students through their local medical stu students committee representative and there's one of those at each medical school and for junior doctors through their regional junior doctors committee um, all the information will, will be passed on through them but I'd encourage everyone to put the 18th of July in their diary and, um, and you'll, you'll hear more about it closer to the time.